Hey YouTube, this is Dave and today we're going to talk about our Synology Disk Station 414. I'm going to be using four 3 terabyte Western Digital red drives. These are drives that are made for NAS units like this. This video isn't merely an unboxing setup and review, but it's an intro to the future videos on this channel about what you can do with your disk station 414. This is a prologue to many videos to come including upgrading to the new disk station manager 5.0. We'll set up RAID and I'll show you how to download software using their app store and also we're going to add sources for third-party apps like Sickbeard, Couch Potato, Headphones, Python and more. This way, we can get some great content from the web, some great multimedia from the web automatically, and serve it up to your computer, your TV, and even your mobile devices. So make sure you subscribe to my channel, and we will do all of this together. Out of the box, Synology made it easy with their UI to get the best experience that you can get when it comes to mass storage units. First things first, what is a NAS? A NAS stands for Network Attached Storage. In this particular unit, you could take four separate hard drives and put them all in here and it will show up on your computer as one volume. The advantage is not to have any wires connected from here to your computer but to access this over your Wi-Fi network. You have the option for backup redundancy, meaning if you have one drive and it fails, you will lose everything. But you can have four drives and then have multiple backups in case one of the drives fails. You have other drives and you can quickly just replace this and continue on with your work. I started looking into storage devices like this because I almost lost all my family photos. Luckily it was just the power cable, but it got me thinking I better go out and get one of these. I chose Synology because it has a lot of great options. You can basically do almost everything with this. So let's unbox this now and we're going to check it out and see what it comes with. Okay, let's first set aside our four hard drives that we bought for this. And here we have the 2014 Synology Disk Station 414. So on the side we have a couple of features here. File sharing, multimedia center, private cloud, IP surveillance. So if you have an IP camera you can store on this device and control it. Mobile access, RAID protection, data sync, and some more. So on this side here it tells you what comes in the box. Basically we'll find out when we open up this thing. So now let's take a look. We'll open this right up and we'll lift that. And Now first things first we have a box here and in this box we have our power cord. I live in the United States so it's the three prong. And in this box we're going to have some mounting screws if needed. We're going to have our quick guide and that's what we're going to use to get all the software running on this. We have a disc here. Let's take a look. Quick start guide and our disc here. It runs Windows and Mac. So we can download the software but we can also use the disc has two Ethernet cables and the external power brick and that's the connection for pin right into the back of the NAS unit. Let's throw this to the side and now the meat and potatoes. We'll pull off this cover and we're presented with a gift wrapped unit that's so that it doesn't get wrecked in transport. 
let's pull this out of here. And the unit is very, very light. Because it doesn't have the disc in it, of course. So here we have the unit. It's got plastic on it. It's a glossy finish, so we'll keep that on so we don't get the fingerprints on it. On the sides, we have the Synology logo, and it also acts as a vent. We got a lot of vents here. And in the back, we have two fans for exhaust and two Ethernet, dual Ethernet. We have the power. We have a reset button, a Kensington lock, and two USB 3.0, which we're going to use uh, for backing up the unit, and also you can connect more storage devices. Of course, you're going to have to format the drives that you put on, so they have to be empty drives, and then you can expand your unit. 3.0 is pretty fast. And here you have the information sticker with your MAC address and such. So. On the front, we pull the cover off. It's held on by grommets. And we'll place that to the side there. And here we have the four bays. There we go. And these are screwless. They pop right off. And you basically put your drive in. Like this. With the connection on the outside and it basically just slides right in like this and then these will hold it in place and that's that you do it on the other side and you just place it right back in again on here we have a status indicator and you see the health of each discs there's different colors that represent what's going on and down at the bottom, we have a USB 2.0 and the power button with the indicator light on the flank. This concludes our intro and unboxing. In the next video, we're going to hook it up, set it up with the Wi-Fi, and install the firmware needed to run the system. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you on the next video. Thank you.